I've left my sense of humour somewhere and I can't find it at the minute. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here. I'm with Dad and the Night Orange Smart Car. In the previous video, well, Dad had a look at it and gave us his initial reaction. It's safe to say your initial reaction is you like it, but it might need some TLC. It's all right, as long as I ain't got to work on it. Uh, yeah, so in this video, we're going to do some work on the car. What are we going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> I think the plan is we're going to jack it up, have a look, give it a mechanical look at. Have a look at it. And see what's going on with the exhaust, with the brakes, and just start working on the Smart 451. Good. It's good. It's sun shining. I could be riding a motorbike now. Right, and out comes the jack. Is this the jack I bought you? It is the jack I bought you. We're going to learn lots of things about smart car 451 ownership. First things first is, well, where to jack it up? Um, it's worse than yours. What, to jack it up? Oh, don't tell me it's got plastic under trays it's on. Plastic like a, everywhere. Like an MR2. It's oh. plastic everywhere. This is why we need a four-post lift. Would you like your jack, sir? Well, no, I can't, mate. I can't jack her up. No, I can't. I'm not, I'm not joking either. Why not? Because there's no there to jack up. There's this plastic bumper sort of this sill in the way. Oh right. We need to take that off, do we? This plastic sill stops you getting at the jacking point. Well that's useful, isn't it? Look at these. You can't get at this jacking point full stop. Let's have a look. There isn't one there. Oh yeah. Well, that's that's a jacking thing there. No, but you wouldn't want to put anything on there, would you? How does this come off then? Well, it's got. Has it got things there? One, two scrivets. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Take the scrivets out. Let's just put some carpet on the floor. Great start. Bring the purple one back. Seems so far easier to work on, doesn't it? Yeah. I bet there's a special tool for taking those off. I bet there is, son. I bet there is. Oh, you've got one out. What's what's that? Oh. Well, oh, it's them spidery leg things. So you put them in and then pop them off. There we go. Will it come out? Don't know. It's, it's a two-man job, really. Well, let's come and help you. Oh, it must just pop out. Mm. Ah! Oh! So now. Ah, the front the slides. Ah, it's like. There we go. You can see You're it. right, it's on a little hook look. Yeah. Oh! And all these things look. Oh, I see. They all look into these. Have they been broken off? Well, they haven't been hooked in in the past, look. Mm, that's probably why it's been whapping about, isn't it? <sighs> Can you see what I mean? They slot into them slots. Well, let's just take a look at that now. Now we've got that off. That's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? It's an arrangement. It certainly is an interesting oh, look. This way is how you take the... doing it. Well, so basically, to do anything, oh. the sills have to come off, don't they? They do, don't they? Oh. Vile. Take them off and leave them off. Yeah, well, I'm going to take that off and... Well, apart from giving it a good scrub, yeah, well, Puh, dust. We'll wrap it in, we'll put it somewhere safe. Yeah, well, because we're not going to be taking it on and off, on and off, on and off, are we? No, that'd be a bad idea, wouldn't it? The good news is all the clips appear to be in they place. They are in, aren't they? They are... I suppose once you've got the hang of it, Not though. great. Ta-da! Now let's have a, a better look at this. So, yeah, to take the front off has got to be that sort of torque screw there. And it all clips in the sill here, which is a horrible design. Well, the clips weren't in, were they? I hate that. I hate that a lot. Now we can see the jacking points, though. Now we can see the actual metal points. I wouldn't want to jack it up on that plastic piece, would you? Not on the back. The front, if you've got a pad underneath it, because there's a gap there and you get to that metal bit, but the back one ain't got a gap. No. I wouldn't want to be jacking it up at all. Because you're going you're gonna to crack that plastic. Yeah. 
Jack the vehicle up. Remove, Remove the fills. <laughs> what a horrible design flaw. I don't know. We've decided that probably the best plan of action is to take all the panels off so we can see what we're doing, <laughs> including now removing the off-site sill. The issue we've got is keeping all these plastic Lego panels nice and safe for the next couple of days. And you can see that this has been off more recently because the wheel arch liner isn't tucked in properly. It's telling us a story so far that it's either a bugger to put back together. I bet it is. Well, there's something else going on underneath. It is like playing with a big Lego set. Don't force it. I'm not forcing it. No, there's a screw in it. Oh, right. Well, that won't, that'll mean that we won't uh, be getting very far. Is there meant to be a screw in it? No. <laughs> ah, there we go. She's out. Ah, yes, the clip is broken. Oh, is the... the top one's all right. Nice. That's where the screw is, look. No broken clips. So far, that so good. Better than the other one, isn't it? Maybe because it had a screw in it. Yeah. Good. Right, that's off. So there's going to be quite a lot of these little Torx screws all over the shop, really. Oh, that one's out. That's very tight. They've been bonded in for some ridiculous reason. Weird. Well, I've had a cup of tea because we've decided that this video is actually going to be about a week long. About a week long. Right, so we want to remove the rear bumper. We've just done some Googling to remove the rear bumper. Not only do you need to remove the tailgate skin, but you actually also need to remove the whole tailgate as well. And all of this and all of this, just to get at it. It's a necessary evil. We need to do it because we need to look at that exhaust. But it's going to be a lot of uh, jiggery pokery to get it off. It's not as easy as we first thought. So he says we've got to take the tail lights, not the tail lights, the number plate lights. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Well, let's have a quick look. So this has all got to come off. All this has got to come out. These have got to come out. This has got to come out. That's got to come out. This has all got to come out. This wiring harness has got to come out. Go get the side cuts. Yeah, it would be easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> you can't even do that because of the old same colour look. <laughs> Right. Why do you shut that? Because we've got to, have to do this first, haven't we? Oh, uh, do some of the lights or something. It says we've got to take the yeah. number plate lights out. That's yeah. number... Oh. <laughs> What's that? Is it broken? This is in the way. Oh, yeah. That's... If it's in the way, don't... Oh, no, here we go. That's one number plate light out. Ta-da! I'll leave you in charge of number plate lights. You're in charge of lights. That's another number plate light out. Put well, some little screw plugs in there then. Yeah, I've taken them out. Oh, I've some, some clippy things here. So, what do you suggest? Just take these out, yeah? Carefully. Oh, what's that? Punk. Well, no one's taken these out in its lifetime. Oh, I, I don't think. Uh, never had a bulb fitted. <laughs> well, they're filthy for a start. They're so corroded as well. These, ah, there's a little tag there you push down. Mm. That's out. These could break. That's out. That one just fell off. Or did you take No, I've off? took that off. So that's been repaired at some point in its life. Look. So the number plate lights. They're out. Put them in the box. Oh, yeah. We'll put them safe. They could box do of tricks. Plumbing good clean as well. So that's out. Number plate lights are out. They're in there. That's whapping about a bit, isn't it? <sighs> Why is it? Ah! It? Lovely. I hate this number plate surround. Do you? Yeah, don't you? Do you like it? I want to see how it's stuck on the car. It is actually stuck on, isn't it? Oh no, it screws in, screwed in. If I was to put a new number plate on there, 
Would that cover the screws? Yes. I'm taking off this horrible number plate surround. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, just, just seeing. I'm just looking at it. We're going to be ordering some new floor mats soon. <laughs> Don't get. Don't get it. I'm just checking it out. Even though we need an exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It's not all scroped up. Oh, I can take that number plate surround off. Excellent. That's made me relatively happy. So this whole trim needs to come out, doesn't it? It does, mate. Uh, hang on. <laughs> right. So then, aha, this piece comes off. Ah, uh, that's why the man says take that off, look. Yes, because they just come out of there. Makes this job easier, look. Well, I don't know about you, but looking at that and looking at those clips, I don't think that's ever been off in its life. Which means it must be the original exhaust, which is why it's failed, isn't it? Right, so that's off now. Two latches, look. Good. So you can still do it manually then. Oh. Yeah. Problem is, you see, any normal car, you'd have a connector in there. Yes. And you just disconnect this and take it off. It hasn't got a connector, so has it? To take all these you need wires to take all off. the clips off to disconnect it there. Feed all these wires through that blooming hole. This is horrible, isn't it? Yeah. So you're marking those cables just in case, right? Yeah, just in case we get a bit. <laughs> in case we get lost. in the bum, this is, isn't it? Yes, it's not ideal, is it? You need to be a hobby mechanic of all the time in the world. Clearly never been off in its life. Hence the exhaust bodge. So now to attack the rear bumper. Yeah. Aren't there screws under there according to my calculations? Oh no, there's a clip here. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, I've disconnected them clips. Clip sure. here. Clip there. I think when you've been doing these a lot, you just grab hold of that and yank it. Yank it away, yeah. There it is. Right, an actuator. Yep. We like smarts. Smart as oat. As Billy Smart, the circus master, would say. Here she comes. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Ooh, that one was tight. Right. Right. So in theory... We've got to take the lights off, haven't we? It's now loose. Yeah, so you've got to take it off the filler neck. Are you all right with that? Stand by. I'm right. off my side. Right, don't, don't go too far. No, no, Stop. No. Don't move in any way, shape or form, dude. I'll just disconnect these tinkers. My light is off. My bugger won't come off because that bottom one's stuck. Here you go. There you go. Are you off? Hang on, stop. Let's go together, shall we? Yeah. There we go. Well, there it is. Right, let's... Ah, now we can see the rabbit. What an horrible thing. Let me take that out of the way. Yes, find some stuff to stand it on. I'll just lay some stuff. I've got hot, oh. So it's whapping about yeah. a bit. There we go. I've got hold of it now. I'm going to very carefully go over to the workshop. That's a horrible job, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Now we can see it. Now let's have a look at what's wrong. Oh, yes. That's what the issue is. That's let's nice. get in close. Hmm. Yeah. So it's been puddinged, I think is the correct terminology. It's nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that. <sighs> Smart car ownership is going well so far. Well, I understand why the exhaust is blowing, because nobody wants to take all that off to look at it. That rear crash bar needs to come off now. It does. Instead of putting bolts in it, they've put some blinking uh, 
Talks. Talks Ed's in, yes. yes. They'll be seized. They will. Yeah. Well, whatever you paid for it, it was too much. <laughs> Because that is lovely. Ah, oh, what's that? What is that? Is that like a bracket? It holds the bumper, doesn't it? Holding the bumper. Yeah. Is it attached to that crash bar? I'm not sure. Oh, and there's one from underneath as well inside. Oh, great. Hopefully, people appreciate the smart car content. Because I think I owe you a lot of nice new tools this month. Emigrate. Emigrate. To Germany, the land of smarts. No, 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 no. Wakefield, the I'm land of to... Mike Terry. I will come, I'm going to a land down under and work on Oldham Kingswoods. I could buy a ute. <laughs> this will be a ute in a minute. <laughs> it pretty much is, isn't it? It's missing the tailgate. So, the theory was I didn't want my shed cluttering up. Mm. It's not going to work like that, is it? No. You know, everything about this is harder than the 450. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So they put it's... this bolt in from the wrong way on. It's almost as if they thought that was too easy to work on. Let's make it more difficult. A bit like that, son, yeah. We don't like people working on their own smarts. Let's make them totally impossible to work on. Up goes the car and off with the wheel. Mm. Now that's made life easier, taking that wheel off, hasn't it? It certainly has, my old mate. Now you can get to that bracket and get that off. It took a bit longer it's than It's had we... a repair panel done, hasn't it? Yeah. So it's had, yeah. it's had a, I, don't, I still don't think it's been off in the past. Um, we've got yeah. the crash panel off, now a crash bar off, and we can see the exhaust, and that is going to be where it's blowing, isn't it? Because it's got putty everywhere. It's just been sort of gunked up. There are repair panel yeah, options. Had one put in. We're probably it. going to have to put a brand new exhaust on it. What do you reckon? It's been repaired once before, and it's not successful, is it? No. It's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon? You want a new one on it, mate? Yeah, I agree. It's not going to be right, is it's it? It's not worth farting about trying to repair it, is it? Let's just have a good look in there. Ugh. Ugh. It's had a repair piece put in. It has. It's had a repair... What, a repair piece of flex, hasn't it? Yeah. And it's been sort of... Not done very well. It probably didn't fit very well. They've made the best of a bad job, haven't they? They've made the best of a bad job, mate. But both places where it's been repaired, it's leaking again. Good. New exhaust, please. Does it look like we're going to have to drop the engine to get at that? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to get at that back bolt. Great news. The day just keeps getting better. Unless we can do it from up here. So we've worked out that somebody in the past, probably the person I bought it from, has welded a piece here and here, and this is non-standard, this plexi piece, it's not an official repair. We're going to put the wheel back on and start the car up, because if the car, or the exhaust is blowing here as well, there's no point in us fitting a £70 repair panel, we might as well fit a £260 genuine exhaust. However, you can also get aftermarket exhaust which are 130 quid but they don't seem to be as good, substantial quality as the original. I'm going to start it up and make sure we're not wasting our time. Right, I'll fire up then. That's where it all is, isn't it? It's coming out of there, isn't it? I don't think there's any in here, is there? Well, I'll hold it. It's Thanks. difficult to tell. Yeah. There's this noisy one here. Ready? There's a bit of a rattle from here. A bit of a... But you can hear it. It's not been welded up here, has it? 
Because that's where it's coming from. I can feel it coming from there. Could we, as a matter of academic, weld there? Because it's not got any weld there. Oh. It's coming out of here as well, isn't it? I mean, we've come this far, we may as well repair it properly. I can see why he's done that, would you? Why it has it not... It welded very well. I don't know why it didn't weld very I well. I think it's been welded with the bumper on. I don't know how the fellow could do it. I don't see how he could do it. But that bumper hasn't been off. I reckon it's been welded with the bumper on. Well, very clever. And been... It's not been done here, has it? Well, let's face it, it wants to take it off and do it. And it's not going to be easy to take it off, but it's not going to be impossible. I'm just trying to work out how to take it off. I can see why he's done the bugger on. <laughs> na, 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 na. So after much battling, the exhaust is off. Dad's had to uh, resort to actually cutting this piece off here. The reason being is, well, you'll see in a second, all the bolts have got no head on. They've just sort of disappeared into oblivion. Like you can't get out the bubbles. You can't get, you can't get at them, as Dad says. So we're trying to now shear that off. <sighs> it's a bit of a nightmare, this, and actually I feel pretty shit. Um, it's not what I expected Dad to have to do on it. So I, I just want to take 20 seconds just while you're there. You've had to cut that off. Yeah. That wasn't a nice job. No. It um, wasn't. Can you just tell us why it's caused us so much of an issue that? Well, there's no heads on the bolts and you can't get at them anyway. So you've had to cut it all yeah, off, yeah. basically. So you can't get at them. Here's the, uh, here's the exhaust. And there's the bit we've had to cut off, but there's the, and there's the bolts that were holding that to the cat. Hopefully we've not damaged the cat. Um, do what I'm going to do. <laughs> Absolute pain in the bum. Yes. I'm going to start it up and see what it sounds like. Deep. Wait, oh! Wait till I just check this. So what are you doing now? I'm just making sure that this isn't bent. Yeah, she's all right. Is that, that's the end of the cat, is it? Yeah. I had a bit rough with it, didn't I? Yeah, we've had a bit of a tickle on it. Not a job I wish to inflict upon you again. My work here is done. Can we start it up? You can do whatever you like, mate. I'm putting my tools away. Make sure we've not blown loads of stuff into the cat. Blow it out. Watch your tea. Don't get it in your tea. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, noisy smart. Nice. I've left my sense of humour somewhere and I can't find it at the minute. Mmm. Sense of humour has disappeared at the moment. Mmm. Better bring the boot lid so we can put that back on because I ain't putting it in my shed. No, fine, don't blame you. That was a horrible job for you. Yeah, thank you. Just, just give that a little bit of tickle detail in there. Job done. Nice. Don't buy a smart car. Be shite. They've caused us a bit of a problem today. As you know, I am number one smart car fan. But even I, today, 
I'm severely regretting my life choices because getting that exhaust off was a horrible job. What a terrible life decision. Can I just bomb around with it like that? No. You left to wait a day or two for me to get my sense of humour back, I'm afraid. Yes, I know, I apologise. Uh, my sense of humour's been eradicated for a day or two. It's disappeared. Well, end of day one of working on the smart car, and we've got the back bumper off, the tailgate skin off, the sills off, the number plate off, uh, the crash bar off, and the exhaust off. And it's all stuck in my shed. What are we going to do? Are we going to repair the exhaust or put a new one on it? I ain't repairing that crap. Putting a new one on? Yeah. There you go. New exhaust is going on. That was a horrible job, and I saw that you hated that. It's taken us, what, four or five hours to do all that? What do you reckon? You don't fancy repairing it? I think that it's up to you. Well, you're the expert. A genuine smart one is 250 quid. A repair flex is 70 quid. A cheapo exhaust? 150 quid. You need to show me a picture of that repair thing again. Thing is, we don't know how good the exhaust actually is, do we? I have an awful feeling it's probably knackered anyway. I don't feel it, though. Look at that. You know what you want to do with that? What's that rattling around inside? It's the guts dropping out of it, I should right, think. Right, there we go. That's what I should think it is. New exhaust time. You want me honest opinion. Well, <laughs> it's just cost me... Bend down, mate. What? Bend over. Yes. Yes. I've just bought a new exhaust. Good man. Genuine. Smart hey, exhaust. Something else you need. What's that? Them things in there. Yeah, hang well, let's worry about them in a second. Right. Well, I've just bit the bullet. Uh, and bought myself a brand new, genuine, smart 451 exhaust. Pattern exhausts were 180 to 200 quid. A genuine one, <laughs> well, it was 260 quid, plus the fitting kit, which was another 30 quid. Um, so please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, please share it far and wide, because, yeah, 300 pounds that's just cost me. 300 my quid. Bloody wages, pal. 300 quid that's just cost. Yeah, it's cost another 150 quid for me to take it off. <sighs> the light is dimming. I should be selling your wife my bill. Yes, it's, it was. she's not going to be too happy when she hears I've just spent 300 quid on an exhaust. But it was factored into the cost price, kind of. <laughs> I um, did say to the seller it needs a new exhaust and we factored in, well, 100 quid. But it is what it is. Well, from what started off as, let's take a couple of panels off and have a look at the exhaust to see what it needs, has turned into a bit of a nightmare. Just tell us about the past four hours of your life. Well, you can't get at it to get the bolts out, but we've got them out in the end. Uh, the exhaust is knackered. It needs a whole new exhaust. <sighs> Do you reckon it's got the original exhaust from leaving yeah, the factory It's already been repaired once, hasn't it? Yeah, so it's 15 years old. The original exhaust, is it stainless as well? Some of it is. It's a substantial piece of kit. I could have gone with a pattern exhaust. It probably would have been quite loud and clunky and horrible. Every pattern exhaust you've bought has been up to now. We could have bought like a repair kit, which was 70 quid. It's been repaired once before. My rationale is this. If it doesn't work, we've lost 70 quid. It's a load of work for you, uh, repairing an exhaust that might not be any good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you chuckling at? Um, oh, that's just cost me 300 quid for a new exhaust. No fool you, you shouldn't buy such crap. How easy is, an, is the new exhaust going to be to fit? It's easy, isn't it? I think it's that, I think... That was the main issue of the car, the exhaust. Well, no, the handbrake's not very good. <laughs> Let's worry about the handbrake and the brakes another day. Um, I didn't expect it to turn into that this afternoon. Did you? No. What did you expect? 
I expected us to take the back bumper off and whip the exhaust off, maybe weld it back up and put it back on. Other things we need to buy, well, there's some clips that broke taking it Are off. Are you handing on to the car? Yeah. Well, then. I'm keeping the car. I don't begrudge spending... Well, I do, do I begrudge spending 300 quid? Yeah, I bloody well do. Because I didn't expect an exhaust to be that much. Maybe I should have done my research before I took the plunge. Hey, you live and learn. Um, what's next? Find out why the brake pedal's so long. Yeah. Yeah. That's a job for another day. Maybe tomorrow. Um... We can't do anything until the exhaust arrives. I've ordered it from Smart Mercedes Newcastle. It's on the way, it's coming in the next couple of days. I've ordered a fitting kit and actually I've ordered some bits from my Smart 450 as well from them. So hopefully they'll just bundle them all up in one go. Now yeah, we've got the bank holiday out of the way. Everybody will be getting back into gear, won't they? I, I genuinely am sorry for buying this and giving you such grief today. I'm sorry you bought it as well. Because... I sat and watched you struggle with that exhaust and I felt quite shit about it. Good. <laughs> anyway, we're going to sell some cars to finance this project. Yes. So if you want an Audi A4, if you want a couple of Nissan Micras, if you want two an Audi... Two Audi A4s, we've got two Audi TTs, we've got two Nissan Micras and a, and a Proton. Let's scrap them all and become smart car experts. <laughs> Until next time, there have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, thumbs up, please. If you haven't already, if you could subscribe, that'd be brilliant. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, the light is fading here yeah, in Lincolnshire. No, we'll, room to paint it. we'll be back on it tomorrow. ta -ra. Toodle pips. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.